Now that the internet is not sucking anymore, I am back. So we're gonna go, go for a wall, grabbing a blue blast. Again, just worried about stopping Bushwhacker. find some action. Oh boy, do we find action. Um, do, 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 do. Let me keep them both, honestly. I'm going to a little better in wall, though. We'll just leave up Prohibit and Blue Blast. Heel cutter. Yeah, I'll blue blast that. More faithfuls, more power. You have mismatch lands. It's frustrating. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Bottom, bottom. Play a sunscape. I'm gonna fetch planes, I think. Wait. Okay, yeah, I kept ephemerates in, so I'm gonna fetch planes. <laughs> That way, if I draw an Ephemerate, then I can Ephemerate Seagate, and then if that gives me some gas, then I can play, you know, Stonehorn or something like that. Although, honestly, if I draw an Ephemerate, then I'm probably just Ephemerating Wall. Getting back infinite counter spells. More random dudes don't matter. I don't know what this attack is though. I don't know if he's just like planning on bolting something or something. Maybe he's got the Rimrock Knight or whatever it is. You can take out a Faithful, that's fine. Barely matters. I'm like one draw away from just being infinite. Speed. 
Speaking of one draw away, there we go. So we're going to ephemerate a wall, grab a blue blast. I need to attack anything yet. Oh. Sounds great. We go faithful. Next turn we'll cycle barons for an island. Probably preordain. Maybe blue blast. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be a blue blast. We'll leave out protection from heel cutter though, or not heel cutter, bushwhacker. Um, go ahead and counter that. I don't want him to get more creatures. I can't handle more creatures right now. I think I don't block here. There's a Rimrock, and Faithful is the only thing I've got that's keeping me in the game right now. So I can snap and Seagate. Or I can snap, preordain, leave up, prohibit. Preordain. I need to find lands. Blue blast and snap. Oh my god. Hmm. I think I could pass on the snap. Just it's just a stall tactic. I'm gonna keep the blue blast though. It's really good. We'll prohibit that. Do, do, do. 
Yep. Obviously blocking. Okay, land was the perfect draw. Because now I don't even have to worry about Seagate fetching, hitting or not hitting land. Um, I'm going to take a prohibit. If Wilds was an island, I would have taken the island. But it's not. Um, okay. Bushwhacker would be worse for me, so I'm not going to counter the conscripts. Not easy. I'm uh, I'm one step away from from just being dead, really. All right? If he takes care of the faithful like this, then I can pretty quickly lose. All right. That makes my decision easy. Yeah, this can actually be a pretty complicated matchup because he's got a lot of combat tricks and a lot of instant speed interaction. So you just have to outvalue him. But the the crappy thing is that your value cards cost a lot of mana, and you could just be dead by the time you cast them. That's why you know God Pharaoh's Faithful is just really really good. <laughs> it's certainly possible. So I'll just take a fam here. Or just play the fam. The main thing you gotta worry about is like what is important here. So you notice like every turn I'm basing all of my decisions on how he could just bushwhacker me. And, you know, if he does, if he does Bushwhacker, then what's the worst case scenario? See, so now I'm, I'm gonna be playing around Rimrock Knight, I think. Because if I don't, I'm gonna take six. Rimrock Knight is two. So if I don't play around Rimrock Knight here and I and, I, and he kills my familiar, then I can't cast Muldrifter next turn. So, and eight is a pretty health, healthy life total from where I'm at right now, so I didn't block on the fam. Now I could prohibit the Rimrock Knight, but I really, I'm holding up the prohibit for, um, for Bushwhacker. I think even if I draw Ephemerate, I'm gonna I would want to ephemerate the stone horn. So I'm gonna evoke Drifter. Just wanna draw more interaction. Okay. More land is good too. Fetch a planes. Same reason as last game. If I draw like an ephemerate or something, then I want to be able to like play ephemerate plus stonehorn. And this is why I played around Bushwhacker. This he's probably been holding it since turn one. And it's his haymaker because he probably just drew a mountain. And he knew that if he didn't do anything, then I was going to start out drawing him and beating him. So he kind of had no choice but to go for it there. If I had to guess. So 
So we're gonna do basically the same thing. We're gonna block two. Oh, he blocks this. Okay. All right. Well, that makes my blocking choices easy. We'll just block everything that we can. There's another fam. Should play an island. Just cast the drifter. This should basically be game. Yeah, it's game. Getting a sea guide there makes it game. And we'll take a mnemonic wall. Because so now even if he draws bushwhacker, it's not that bad for me. I'd lose my sea gates. Oh well, no, he can't even cast uh, bushwhacker anymore. So that's not that bad. I win the game, basically. Ordain. Looking for a flicker and ephemerate. Okay. Got both. And now we can start returning the beatdowns. We can play flicker on Drifter and Seagate. Uh, I don't actually, um, I don't actually mill him out here. I'm actually going to kill him with, uh, with C with Muldrift for beats. That's the plan. Just wanted to draw another mold drifter. So he basically can't attack. Yeah. And I kill him with mold drifters. Cool, cool. You generally actually want to kill people with mold drifters, it's a lot faster. There are some matches where you cannot do that, though. Uh, elves and Boros, in general, you want to mill them out. Tron, you want to mill them out. This is a pretty risky keep, but I think I'm going to keep it anyway. Okay, we're up against Stompy, so that's pretty bad. Drawing another land is also very bad. Okay, he's on a pretty slow start. So I've got at least got that going for me. All right, Preordains could draw. <clears throat> we'll, prohibit what, we'll prohibit whatever his play is here. The next turn we can like preordain and hopefully find some more gas. Now he just doesn't have another play. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Just fetch planes. I'm gonna play an island first. 
preordain mortuary mire. Bottom that. Um, yeah, and top the preordain. Gives me more card selection. Generally not under a lot of pressure right now. So as far as stompy decks go, stompy decks go. This is not a lot of pressure from Stompy. Let me just prohibit that. Don't want to be like a hungered pit skulk or something. All right. It's preordained. Looking for a familiar at this point. Faithful, Drifter. I don't think I want another Drifter right now. I'll take a Faithful though. Can't block the Pit Skulks. I can set him back a turn with the Boa. I think I'm use of vines, probably. It might just be screwed here. Snap the pit skull in response to that. Cool. That resolved. Perfect. I was pretty worried there, because if you had a vines, that was a pretty big blowout. And I think it might just be dead, more or less. Okay, sure. So he's got a pit skulk and one unknown. Go down to nine. That'll send him. okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. No, oh, I think I just snap the pit skulk and play Mole Drifter. And turns off his attacks with Nell Sentinel and Pit Skulk. You get me with a rogue on seven. It's probably the best line. Let's just snap the river bow. I'm never gonna be able to block it, so just make him spend the most mana to recast his thing. Let's see here, I can go down to four or I can go down to six. If I go down to six, I'm not dead next turn. Go down to four. Or no, I'd go down to five, actually. But then I draw more cards with flicker. So I can flicker mole drifter and maybe get some kind of in some kind of action there. Okay. Oh fuck! I didn't block. Wow. All right. Well, that was a big, big punt. Because <laughs> now I'm dead to anything. Shit. And I punt it again.
Okay, there's an ephemerate. And go down to one. It's ephemerate mold drifter. Ouch. Okay, well, if he draws anything, I'm dead. Just literally anything at all, and I'm dead. I'd have been in a lot better position if I didn't punt last turn. Okay, so I need, I think I need exactly stone horn off the top. Seven. So if I deep analysis into exactly Stonehorn, okay, now I'm dead. As a pun, I probably would have saved two damage. Yeah, I would have lived another turn there if I didn't make that pun by not blocking. Okay, well, here's what it is. So bring in the stone horns. We bring in an echoing truth, and I think nature's chance as well. Then we cut Sage's Row, probably in his grace. I'll run back like that. Keep. I'm sorry, we're not keeping this hand. No white source. My only real interaction is snap. Well, it's about a 50 50. Alright, we'll keep this. Pitch. It's one stone horn. Kind of depends on their draw, and then it also depends on whether or not I can hit the stone horn. It's a lot worse in game one because I only got two stone horns in the main. I mean, they can always just. They put a lot of ways. Uh, Stompy is one of the, I won't say the most complicated, but one of the aggro decks that requires the most thought because it is a high ceiling. Because it's not just like turn your dude sideways. We've got a lot of a lot of tricks, a lot of interactions. Quarian Ranger is probably like one of the most complicated cards in Popper, other than like Brainstorm. I'll take one.
I'll play the fam and hope he doesn't have a savage swipe. Because I missed my land drop, so I don't really have much of a choice. I'll block the 2-2. It's fine. Hmm. I think I still just play Seagate here. This is hard. I'm gonna take the island though. Really wanted to take the Echoing Truth, but. Block. Now I think we go faithful and see it. Looking for a prohibit or counter spells of some variety. Eh, I'll take a ponder. I don't think I'm gonna use it this turn. I don't think I'm gonna wait and cycle my ash barons. So if this relic was a creature. I'd be in a lot worse position. But he's sitting here and he's got this relic on the table and it's not doing anything for him. Because <laughs> I'm not playing any cards that he can exile. I'm going to this turn, but... Whatever, he can exile my Ash Barons. But this is one of the reasons, actually, that uh, the matchup is can be good. Post board because they often bring in relics. They don't need. They shouldn't. Let's grab another planes. I'll take all these. This may not even nature's chant the relic. Like right now I don't even need to nature's chant the relic. I'm only gonna chant it if I draw like a ephemerate or a ghostly flicker or something. Cycle for an island. Bluff the counter spell, basically. Hmm. 
And now if at any point here I just draw a mole drifter, he loses. It's kind of annoying. It's not like that's a reasonable clock. Could maybe get him to pop the relic. Can't block these things anyway. Let's just do that. Damn, he didn't fall for it. Sucks. Oh, that's a big ouch. Seven, eight. I'm gonna go down to seven. I need some help. It sucks. Damn, there's the ephemerate too. Alright, well, is what it is. I think I'd have been a lot more dead in that match if he hadn't played Relic, though. I mean, you saw it didn't actually do anything for him there. It was a dead card. I just didn't draw enough. Good stuff to matter. It's all right, I'm going to keep, go to match five. Yes, yes, there is. Here I will. Um, I will post you a link to the invite. Send it to you in Discord. But in case future people want it, 
Here it is. Good lord, four minutes into the queue. Just want to finish my round five. Repaired. Let's roll. It's a good hand. Keep this. Lit off the wilds. Got any on Boros? Say Boros. I like just jamming out familiar here. He doesn't have a red source and I can protect it. Well, I can't protect it, but he doesn't have a red source, so. Next turn I can protect it while still playing on a Seagate. So we'll do that. Take the ponder. If he still doesn't answer the familiar or try, then I can just jam out a mole drifter. Gotta kind of kind of question the hand that he kept. Cause he doesn't have red source. He doesn't have, he hasn't had a, an egg yet. So I think he just kind of kept a really bad hand. We're just gonna jam out Mole Drifter.
Hmm. Ponder. DA Baron Sanctuary. So with the ponder on top. Uh, I think we go Seagate. And take the ponder. Let's go ahead and cast Ponder. Because we're going to shuffle away that. <clears throat> we just leave up Snap here. Place Palace Sentinels, then I'll snap the Gwent Hawk. O ring. Okay. Probably tries and hit, hits my fan here. We'll snap the fan. Take two. Swing back. We'll just play fan, play the wilds. Wilds is going to fetch planes. And we'll go. Grace. Snap the fan. with everything. Yep. I'm gonna put a snap back on top. Cast a fan. Cast a mole drifter. Draws the snap, cool. Right. Skyfisher probably bounces the O-ring, and he replays it trying to hit my fan again. I snap the fan again.
Interesting. Still attacks, huh? Alright, I'll trade. Play faithful. Play deep analysis. There's a chance, right? So the snaps get better. Uh, probably just flashback deep analysis here. Eh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to have to discard now. Almost take. Not infinite yet. Pretty close, but not infinite yet. Let's see here. So I played Chancery, Snap, can untap. Maybe I am infinite. Snap the Skyfisher. If I am. I think I'm going to snap Skyfisher anyway, so let's do that. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> he didn't have Metalcraft. So that actually didn't do anything. That sucks for him. So I'll play the second familiar. Preordain. If I preordain to Ghostly Flicker, then I win. Hey, cool, I did. So I can draw my whole deck here. I need another Ghostly Flicker or another Snap. Speak of the Devil. Actually, I need another Ghostly Flicker now. I think. <laughs> well, well, the secret is I don't know. Sadly, I've tapped my mana such that I need to actually tap the sanctuary before doing it every turn. Okay. So even if I hadn't preordained exactly that, I was so far ahead that it didn't matter. Bring a nature's chance excludes Echoing Truth because he's got O rings and negates. Those are all the cards that I want. Maybe one deep analysis. So we cut the stone horns. The snaps. See, gets are less good. One faithful, they're not very aggressive. I 
You want the gate? That's hard. Just kind of want everything. Keep this. We'll fetch planes. Play faithful. I'll just fetch an island. I think he missed his lane drop. So we'll go Sunscape. Leave up prohibits. Vile's fine. Another inspector is fine. I'd have probably countered a Glenhawk there, but I'm unsure. All right, so the best draw would be like deep analysis, probably. Mold Drifter's pretty good too. Just don't know if I want to jam out Mold Drifter yet. He's tapped out. I'm not sure I'm going to get another chance because they tend to bring in like a lot of red elemental blasts. So I think I'm just going to jam out the Mold Drifter. Journey, okay. Journey's no big deal. Yeah. So red blasting a mold drifter after it hits the board is not good. He's not punished for it, but in general it's not good for him to do that. I'm preordain. If I draw a mold drifter, then I can like ephemerate it. Sick. So the secret is you just call it every time. You put a priority on top. You can ephemerate the drifter. Discard Faithful. Yep, if you call it every time, you win. Okay. If he doesn't bolt my mold drifter here, it's really good for me. And I probably can't lose if he doesn't kill the mold drifter. Okay, yeah, he did. That's fine. 
He's got one land in hand and three unknowns. I'm in pretty good shape. Nature's Chance, nice. So let's chant the journey. Gives me a Moldrifter. Let me just preordain here and leave up counter spells. Excluding the Sunscape. Yeah, I don't know if I need another exclude. Got Prohibit. I'm gonna bottom the exclude. I'll take the Sunscape though. Four unknowns in hand. 22 life. Feeling pretty good about this game. Yeah, you can have a vial. I knew we had a vial too. Well, I didn't document it, but I knew we had it. That was no secret. Prism, sure. Doesn't matter. Exclude any creatures he plays. So let's see. Play another fam. Play deep analysis. And leave up exclude and prohibits. Hmm. It's pretty rough. It's kind of open four lands for more lands there. I think priority for more lands, but I think I'd rather just leave up, exclude, prohibit, negate, etc. So I can exclude for one mana now. I can negate for one mana. Yeah, egg. Cool. So he's just spinning his wheels here. You know, two mana draw cards. Sanctuary is pretty decent. Let's see. A sanctuary, the ephemerate. Evoke Maltrifter. He probably tries to red blast it. No? Okay. Ephemerate the Mole Drifter. I don't know that I need to do anything else, honestly. I'll just leave up a bunch of counter spells. Discard Island and Preordain. Flicker is just a win. Sage's Row.
Okay, he's finally using his clues. I had debated echoing truth the clues for a little bit, but decided not to do that. Why is he not attacking with the Skyfisher? I'm not gonna block it. We've got an ephemera coming off a rebound. I'm not gonna block a Skyfisher. Negate the bolt. Okay, so there's flicker, which means it's just a win. Let's evoke the drifter. Flicker, drifter, sanctuary. Just drawing to sages right now. I took out my snaps. I don't know, maybe it's faster to... No, he's got five cards in here. I don't want to mess around with that. Just going to mill him. Got plenty of time to mill him. Okay, there's a wall. play it out. He's probably got a red blast, but like, does he think I don't have any counter spells for that? I don't know. A little weird. He's hoping a misplay probably. Theoretically misplay. It was probably actually misplayed even evoke that mold drifter earlier. I think I probably should have just started flickering right away rather than evoking, because that evoking spent one mana that I didn't didn't need to spend. Ah shit. I did misplay there. A little bit. So there's a Sage's Row. So now I need to flicker Sanctuary, another Sanctuary. Okay, he conceded. So there's that. Sweet. So there's a 3-2. 3-2 League. Uh, let's go ahead and open the chest while I'm still streaming. Do, 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 collection. See what Senior Chest gives us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Beacon of Tomorrows. It's garbage in 10 play points.
Pretty sure it's garbage. Yep. Rip. Oh. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill the stream and you guys have a good rest of your day.